you guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Chemical by Post Malone, which is a nice and easy tune. For the basics, you'll just need a guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. In this lesson, I'll teach you how to play all the chords with the strumming, but I'll also teach you how to play some of the lead guitar parts in the song. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar in general, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. All right, let's jump into the lesson. So I'm going to start by teaching you all the rhythm guitar and in the second half of the video I'll teach you all the lead guitar parts. So let's start with the verse chord progression which is really nice and simple, there's just three chords. So we have a D chord, and then we have an E minor chord, and then a G chord, played through twice. Now for our strumming pattern, it's a nice and easy down up, down up, down up, down up strumming pattern. So that's just an eighth note strumming pattern, one and two and three and four and and we're going to play that once for the D and E minor and twice for the G. And that will just sound like this. One thing you can add to the strumming pattern to give it a little bit more dynamic is accents on the two and the four beat. So on those particular beats, you can strum the chord a little bit harder, or what you could do is on the non-accented beats, just focus on more of the lower strings and on the accented beats, you can play the full chord. So that will sound like this. And a little bit faster. So that's it for the verse. Next is the pre-chorus. So we're gonna start with the B minor chord. So index finger on the second fret of the fifth string, ring and pinky fingers on the fourth frets of the fourth and third, and middle finger on the third fret of the second string. You can just focus on those middle four strings if you want. And if you want to, you could also bar that index finger to hit the second fret of the first string. You also wanna keep the sixth string muted and you can do that by lightly touching with your index finger as you fret the second string. So that's B minor, then we go to an A. You can play this A chord whichever way is more comfortable for you, but I'll personally just be barring my index finger across the second frets of the four third and second string. Just focusing on those middle four strings and then to the G chord. And we have the same strumming pattern as well. So the pre-chorus just sounds like this. Now, if this B minor chord is too difficult for you, then you can also substitute it with an easier version, which is a B minor seven, which looks like this. So index and middle finger on the second frets of the fifth and third string, and your ring finger on the third fret of the second string, and just focus on those middle four strings. So that's an easier version of the B minor if this one is too difficult for you. And that would sound like this. Next we get to the chorus and there's three lines of chords here. So the first line of chords is just the same as the verse, really nice and easy. Then the second line of chords is the same as the pre-chorus. And then finally the third line of chords, instead of going down to an A, we go up to a D chord and then end on the G chord. So that's it for the chorus and again we're just utilizing that same strumming pattern throughout the entire song. So I'm just gonna play through chorus one. I'm just gonna play through the first line of chords through once, but in the actual song, you'll need to do it three times. Next is chorus number two, which is the same as chorus one, except we have an additional line of chords. And this fourth line of chords is just the same as the second line of chords. So nothing really new to learn there. Next is the bridge slash instrumental section. And rhythmically, we're just playing the same chords as chorus one, except the first line of chords is played through twice and not three times. And finally, we have the outro, which is just two lines of chords. So for the outro, there's no strumming pattern here. We're just gonna strum a B minor, hold that out for a bar. A, hold that out for a bar, and then G, and hold that out for two bars. And for the second line of chords, instead of going to the A, we go to the D instead. So B minor, D, and then G. And that's the end of the song. 
So now I'll teach you some of the lead guitar parts. Let's start that intro guitar that you hear in the actual recording. So to play this, you have your pinky finger on the seventh fret of the third string and index finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And you wanna keep the fourth string open. Let's break this riff into groups of three notes. So we're gonna start by plucking the third string, fourth string, and then fifth string. And I pluck this with an up, up, down. We're basically just gonna repeat these three notes five times. So it'll sound like this. And then when we get to the final end beat after four, we just pluck that fourth string one more time and that fills our two bars of music. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And if you wanted to repeat that again and again, Okay, so now I'll teach you how to play the lead guitar in the instrumental slash bridge, and it's pretty simple. Now in terms of guitar tone, I've got a clean amp with a tiny bit of overdrive, some delay, and a little bit of reverb. We're gonna start by getting into a D sus two chord position. So it's a D chord, but we have our ring finger lifted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by striking the first and second strings with a down up. And then we're going to continue on striking the first and second strings on the end beat after the two, three, four, and next one beat. So one and two and three and four and one and. So notice how I'm always hitting those strings on the up beat. And one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two. And then on the end beat after the two, I'm gonna pluck the second string and then the open first string and then back to the second string. So this next little chunk. For the final three notes, I'm gonna start by hitting the open first string, then putting my middle finger down. So that's a D chord again, and then ending on the second string. So one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four and. And the riff in total. And that's just gonna be repeated through four times. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.